Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial for Warcraft 3 UI Designer so In this tutorial we shall discuss what the elements are how to use them, how to insert elements, how to change the properties So in the previous in the introduction tutorial I have explained the role of each button and each option from buttons and backdrops, text, others so now I will discuss more about their functionality okay so first custom button so all elements have some fields in common let's just make a backdrop like this delete this, make a script here, here and a text so all of these three all elements this is an element all elements in general have the same general fields x and y width and height name and parent so x and y of course width and name can be changed to button you can also make it an array by button zero okay and of course the origin can be parent of two parent of four so what is parent child relationship or a parent a child is like an image in or an element inside the parent for example if i make it this as frame 2 this is frame 2 now this is like a part of this so if anything happens to this if this is hidden all the children are hidden like this is hidden and also since this is a child of this this appears above it like this uh, notice that a very important note is that the layering of frames of or of elements is not really made yet in Warcraft 3 Forged. So, for example, if I make this as the element as uh, if I make this as a child of this, it will still be under it because it is not, uh, this behavior is not made in the editor. So, I have to keep that in mind when trying things out. Okay, so first you can drag, you can resize like this. Okay, so let's get to the other things. Custom button and custom backdrop, they look exactly the same. The difference is that this has type button, can be changed to backdrop. And this has type backdrop, can also be changed. Custom elements like custom button, custom backdrop can have custom texture, like images you insert yourself, like for example this. So there are this there are these two fields so for texture paths the first is the texture inside the application you choose a png or an image texture and the button will take its image inside the editor only for this texture to appear inside the game you have to specify the location or the address like the, the path inside the editor for example see this trigger editor no i want the as editor, for example, if I want it to be a weird, like I will just copy this. No, not the engine, sorry. Copy this and paste it here. So, in game, it will use the texture from this path. Same for this. So, first, texture path this is the image inside the application. The texture path we world editor is the texture inside the game and you put the bath here if you do something like this like if the bath is for example text see this path if you put it in here this will this will not work in game why because you have to replace each single dash with a double dash like a double dash or for example if it was like this it should be like this double dashes a single dash will not work in game okay so custom buttons custom backdrops are done for skip dialog button and browser button these are already pre-made templates for buttons that and they have an additional feature that they have text inside them text so in game they, they are buttons with text inside them okay and then this there is this invisible button you can really put this over anything, for example, over a text to 
so the user can click the text or over an empty part of the frame of the screen over this over over anything and to be click the only issue with invisible button is that they have no highlight so if, for example if you put it over a backdrop like this you can click it but the you there will no there will be no highlight shown okay for backdrops custom backdrop custom texture the rest are pre-made templates with ready textures don't need anything you just put it anywhere and it, it is done now for the text frame what is the text frame is just a text basically a text you can put text here you can make multi line multi line you can also change the scale notice that of course i can make it bigger to show everything notice that it changes the scale will change both the position and okay let me explain this better it's changing the text scale in game has a unique behavior or a very weird behavior and annoying behavior is that changing the scale may change the position of the element as well as that the text scale will not be the same as its scale in here in this app it will be closer to it but not it so with text scale you will have to experiment a lot for perfect results and of course the color fine so that's how you do a text frame and others others is not ready yet as i said in the previous thing okay so now let's say that i want to make an inventory i put a button or no let me add yes yes i put a button i make it as i make the parent as what was this called frame zero two okay so i present frame zero two because i want this is the inventory and this is the button of the inventory now i want multiple buttons here like a real inventory so i guess i can either duplicate like this make a copy a perfect copy with exactly the same details trigger if there is trigger variable to have the same trigger variable same texture everything I guess I can put zero. I can I can keep duplicating, or I can with right click there is delete deletes it. Of course you can undo with Control Z or from the edit. There is a duplicate. I said it. There is a table array. You choose the rows. You choose the columns. You choose the x gap y gap. Okay, this is too much. Zero point zero three and the parent is not an array so this is disabled let's see yep i guess you can edit it as much as you want you can control z and edit it so just redo okay perfect this is the table array okay then there is the okay let me just do this yeah. then there is also the then build this is no i don't want this i want something like this yeah this weird thing okay so there's also the circular array you give it the radius 0 0.6 count let's just say six initial array if this is disabled then it is not checked uh, this is an, a mistake and yes this is a mistake okay this is a bug okay let's do this again yeah, let me just fix this by selecting an array parent and then circular array okay it's fine let's fix it now now let me select this again what was it it was what was this frame zero two circular array let's say 0 0.6 what 0 0.6 submit all oh, right 0 0.6 is too much right all right 0 0.06 yeah mm, kind of makes a nice shape but it needs to be a little smaller and let's decrease like 0 0.1 so it will delete the original 
frame and make a circle of frames however the, this is also very useful for inventories for anything that needs tooltips why because i can simply have the radius as zero and then it will submit then it will create multiple copies of itself in the same location very useful for tooltips so what are tooltips okay let's first clean this up let's add a new backdrop and let's add a text basically what i want is when the mouse hovers over this backdrop i want this text to appear and when it leaves i want text to disappear at a tooltip functionality so basically this option is allowed of course this has parent origin origin cannot have a tooltip so this option is not present not present also buttons cannot have tooltips buttons cannot have can, cannot be tooltips i'm sorry cannot be tooltips it can have tooltips but can it cannot be a tooltip so this button can have a tooltip like this frame 03 and this is frame 03 if i put this tooltip now when my mouse hovers over this button this will appear so this is the tooltip okay let's continue so yeah i i explained it already okay let's make a complex situation for example let's make a table array yeah and then let's make a text so now i want for each one of these or no 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 i want yeah, yeah. okay let's 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 just let's just see this so now uh, this is the variant of this element this first element now i want to create multiple elements and automatically assign each index of the array to the corresponding index for example table array if i press if i do not press array parent it will make copies and assign it to the same parent now if i want this to be assigned to this and this to be assigned to this like respect the order then i will just need to undo then i will allow the array parent now index 0 is assigned to parent 0 if i click this index 3 is assigned to parent 3 index 5 is assigned to parent 5 this is parent 5 this is index 5 so i automatically assigned each index to the correct parent index i can also add another thing another functional possible functionality is enable tooltip before doing the table array and then press array table array let's go so now each one is also a tooltip for its parent element notice that if i make this as for example frame 0 3 this is no longer tooltip why and it is also it is not allowed to click here why because a parent can only have one tooltip cannot have more than one tooltip another thing is if i for example make the variant of this as frame 02 whatever anything frame 02 okay uh, let's disable this so i can click parent so now uh, this has a child this and this if i make this as a tooltip a tooltip cannot have a tooltip its tooltips will be disabled because a tooltip cannot have a tooltip so yeah i covered circular array table array duplicate delete covered buttons backdrops texts functionalities of course there is a shortcut of button delete that deletes from the keyboard button delete and of course clicking on each of these will enable edit will select that frame and so you can edit it easily all oh, right clicking origin will select or will bring up the general options of of the game uh, all right i i have already explained this part in the introduction so yeah i guess we're done here thanks for your time and see you in this hall of fame hopefully have a good day